welcome guys now we will start and move to our new topic uh, which is control and protection systems uh, we will start with the release there are different type of relays one type we will start with is electromechanical relay these relays were the earliest form of relay used for the protection of power system and they dated back nearly 100 years so start of the relays was electromechanical relays in fact uh, the the in initial relays like uh, electromechanical relays of LZB LZ96 uh, was jointly produced by electrical engineers and watchmakers this is very interesting thing electromechanical relays can be classified into several types as follows Attracted armature relay, moving coil relay, induction relay, thermal relay, motor operated relay, and mechanical relay. Okay, attracted armature relays. These generally consist of an iron core electromagnet that attract a hinge armature when energized. A restoring force is provided by means of a spring or gravity so that the armature will return to its original position when the electromagnet is de-energized typical form of electric armature relay are shown in figure movement of the armature causes contact closure or opening the armature either carries a moving contact that engage with the fixed one or causes a road to move that bring two contact together so this is attracted armature relay this uh, uh, relay which is shown here in, in is still in use uh, uh, it is MVEX which is DC supervision relay uh, how it's working it is uh, shown here okay this is the core this is the coil this is the permanent magnet so uh, when this coil is energized it is attracting this contact down and the, and the, and the electrical contact is closed through this okay the next type of the relay is static relays the term static implies that the relay has no moving parts. This is not strictly the cause for a static relay as output contacts are still generated attracted armature contacts. In a protection relay, the term static refers to absence of moving parts to create the relay characteristics. In the introduction of static relays begin in early 1960s, their design is based on use of analog electronic devices instead of coils and magnets to create the relay characteristics. Early versions use discrete devices such as transistors and diodes in conjunction with resistors, capacitors, inductors, but advances in electronics enable the use of linear and digital integrated circuits. This is the example of uh, uh, static relays. They have uh, switches electrostatic these are dip switches you can see here and this is the uh, selector switches and, and LEDs this is a very simple example this is still you can find this relays on some substation okay then we'll move to the next relay which are digital relays digital production relays introduce a step change in technology microprocessor and microcontroller replace analog circuits used in the static relays to improve relay functions Early examples began to be introduced into service around 1980 and with improvement in the processing capacity can still be regarded as current technology for many uh, relay applications. However, such technology will be completely superseded with the next five years by numerical relays. So this is the example of digital relays. You have a display here. You can select various parameters. You can change the value in the in, in in the relay through this so this is the next generation of relay then you can see the final relays that we are seeing are numerical relays the distinction between digital and numerical relays rest on the point of the fine technical detail and is rarely found in areas other than protection they can be viewed as natural development of digital relays as a result of advances in technology typically they use uh, as specialized digital signal processors as computational hardware together with associated software so this uh, type of relay they have a processor uh, digital signal processor they have a software 
input uh, uh, analog signals are converted into digital signal inside the relay and process for appropriate mathematical algorithm numerical protection advantages distance protection several schemes include user definable schemes uh, over current protection can be direction or non directional several setting groups options available numerical protection is providing very big flexibility switch on to fault protection is available power swing blocking function is available in this voltage transformer supervision negative sequence current protection under voltage over voltage cb fail protection uh, fault location ctvt supervision check synchronism auto reclosing cb condition monitoring state monitoring user defined logic broken conductor reduction measurement of power system quantities current voltage etc fault event disturbance recording so numerical protection is provide uh, Mm, great flexibility uh, programming programmable functions are available you can design you can uh, uh, create logics in cfc uh, in through logics you can create new function as per your command you can do lot of things so numerical protection this you can see the numerical protection here uh, this is mycom relays these are numerical based relays you can see they have also drawn a mimic diagram on on the screen so there is lot of flexibility advantage of numerical relay we again uh, can go through they have several setting groups wider range of parameter adjustment it, they, it can they release these relays can be communicated remotely because they are microprocessor based they have an interface now we have latest uh, automation system so portable um, relay numerical relay they have a built in fault record uh power system measurements uh, is always always shown distance uh, fault record is shown in these relays disturbance recorder is available there are lot of functions so they have numerous advantages okay so this is the end of uh, our section so we have discussed control in control protection sections type of relays thank you